It's a little sloppier, which is what we were expecting with the less, you know, uh, user down for us. Did you feel, um, obviously the Toys had a lot of speed, did you feel like you had more speed in your car then to compete with those guys? Yeah, I think once we make our, our right uh, adjustments for sure, you just gotta, just gotta get there, try and different stuff. How would you assess your season so far? Um, uh, it's been good just uh, trying to get some good finishes, kind of hard to say, really judge my season because we've had two speedways to start out with, but I think it's been so good so far. So you, there's something you can build on, you're building your confidence here in the cup season? Yeah, I don't really worry about confidence too much, I just kind of go out there and try to win every week and if you can't do that, then finish best I can. What's been the deal with this 54 team as a whole so far, from, from A to B? Uh, I mean, it's it's been really, you know, normal, we've been around, normal, it's been, we've been around our guys a lot, so, um, you know, I've been with them since Xfinity, so it's it's uh, it's it's good and keep working. They, they're moving the restart line at Coda. Have you looked at that at all, or have an assessment? As Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, how problematic has it been with everybody funneling into turn one as you know, kind of chaos corner, I guess they call it. Yeah, I mean that's just. Um, I don't know. It's uh, I guess it's part of it. Everybody pinning it down in the one short, small corner, right? It's like a hairpin, so I guess that's what, what happens. But I don't really know too much. I just go around everybody that wrecks, so that's the way I look at it. What do you feel like your strengths have been behind the wheel um, between when you got in the car? Let's, let's start with last year at Daytona to where you are now. Just experience. I really could name it one. Um, everything's just, I just know more and, and I've done more, so I can know where to be at better. The talking heads all think that you're going to be the next guy to win if you had to pick a track. I mean, it would probably be Sunday, right? But, you know, other than that, what do you like? Where do you think your best chances are? Um, you know, I think we've, we're really capable of winning at all different tracks. Uh, the speedways, I really, I don't know, that's a little lower on the par for me because they can't really do too much there. But I feel really good everywhere we go. Um, today, we just got to make our decisions. We'll be a little faster, but... Um, you know, watching them make the this right decisions for the setup wise and just see it. Um, you know, everybody's just um, I guess we're just they're there. I just have to get better. Um, and and they're they're working hard and my team works really hard and they did a great job. Thanks, Tom. Yep. The first and light race was a really great race for you guys last year. Obviously back on concrete for the spring race next week, um, but running during the day. What, what's your mindset heading back into Bristol? Obviously I know the focus right, right now yeah. is on Phoenix, but um, what, what's your mindset? Yeah, uh, Bristol's, I really like Bristol. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite tracks, to be honest with you. It's like a really quick dirt track and a lot of grip, so it's pretty fun. Um, just got to execute. It was really good last year. Just didn't execute as much at the end. It was my fault. You were still good on the at the class. You were uh, you had speed at Martinsville. What is it about the short tracks? If you can pinpoint anything that um, has allowed you to find some more some more success there, just experience and, and then making uh, some different changes on the setup. I, I feel like we're really good everywhere we go. Just kind of get a do my job the best. Yeah. Ty, this is your third time coming to Phoenix Raceway. How does that change your expectations? Knowing that like you've seen this track multiple times now. Yeah, it's nice. Just having more experience is good, and, and being able to get more time on cars great. Perfect. Thanks, guys. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.